<laughs> Hello, yeah. everyone. Hey, what's up? Ben? We're back to Ben's stories and my faithful viewers, which include <laughs> my mom and dad and siblings and stuff. But anyways. Uh, hashtag uh, subscribe. I, I thought you were talking to us when you said, hey, guys, not the viewers. So oh. I said hi back. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we got Austin. We got Sophie, Maddie, and Space Kevin. Head. Also known Space as Space head. Penguin. Yep. Yeah, um, Space Penguin. Um, we're Dominated. here at Austin's Kevin. house for spring break, so we're having a ton of fun. Um, but in today's video, we'll be talking about our adventure that happened today. <laughs> yes. So, Kevin, do you want to preface it? Yeah, to, so um, as the expert tour guide of Traverse City, known as Austin Blue Mel, uh, he took us around in the swag and wagon of the throwback Ford Winster. <laughs> Hashtag was, another swag, another day. Hashtag the most comfortable seats ever. And okay. we just hit up TC in the most incredible spots it has to offer. <laughs> so we went to places such as the State Hospital, which is an old insane asylum. Mm -hmm. uh, Hickory oh. Hills, which has an incredible view of West Bay. And also downtown Traverse City. Mm -hmm. And also Sugarloaf Mountain. is an abandoned ski resort so that's kind of cool we definitely climbed up on some chairlifts and stuff like that mm -hmm. so it was great yeah definitely what tc in northern michigan has to offer even though it was kind of a cold windy gusty day mm -hmm. we uh braved the cold weather even with some people having ripped jeans but it was fantastic cool you can feel the knees now we're fine mm -hmm. honestly yeah. Oh, okay. smucker. No, smucker. <laughs> oh, we're, we're back at it. Okay, guys. We're back I, oh, wow. I beat him. This is why I only do videos with one or two people. Okay, anyways. So, I guess since, since Kevin basically said the story of the day, I'm going to tell you guys a story of cold, cold weather oh. and mm -hmm. stuff. So, back when I was in Boy Scouts. Oh, yeah. Throwback. Or, or was it Eagle Scouts? Well, that was when I was a Boy Scout okay. at the time. We, uh, we, well, there's not much to the story, like most of my stories, but, uh, um, we had to spend at least 24 hours in below zero degree weather, and we got a patch. Ooh. <laughs> 24 would, hours? Would you guys be willing to do that for a patch? That's my question for Say, you. Wait, I missed it. <laughs> what's the, what's the patch look like? The patch is just like a little, it has a year on yes. it. Yes. I would do it. You would do it. Wait, wait, wait. What do you have to how, do? How how long yeah. of a period? Give me another Be patch. Give me another patch. Twenty four hours. A twenty four hour period. I, what weather? Like below zero degree weather. Was that a, for a patch? stipulation for a patch? Yes, that was for the polar bear patch. Was you know, it? Like was it an insulated three patch? Year of Chick Fil A or something? No, it, not just a patch. I'm gonna say pass. Pass. I would definitely do it if I had the right gear. Okay. Yeah. I think if I was trying to be an uh, Eagle Scout, then yeah, I'd do it. You have to. Okay. Well, catch me, baby. Yes, I am an Eagle Scout. Congratulations. So, cool. thank I you. I feel like a loser now. Cause I feel no, sick. you're not a loser. So, okay, this that. is what we're going to do. So I am the king of Tokyo. We have stories with <laughs> cold weather, and we had a ton of fun today. So we're going to go around sharing each of our favorite parts of today. <laughs> Okay. I got so close. Did you Every guys all time. hear what I said? No. Yes. I, I want to go first because mine is incredible. I have too many friends. Okay, right here. My favorite part of the day was when we were on top of Sugarloaf Mountain. We had this polar blast come through, cool. and I had to take my hat off so it wouldn't fly everywhere. And I just let my hair flap in the wind, and it was one of the most majestic things ever. All right. Oh. That's my story. My favorite <laughs> yeah. part was when we were on Sugarloaf, and it was extremely windy. And all of a sudden, we saw Maddie blowing away. <laughs> and we were like, Maddie, <laughs> come back. It didn't back. happen. False. Or, or when Ben False. hid in the, uh, the little triangle hut thing. Oh, he found the love shack. I should shack. throw so, that. Love okay, shack. so to all of you, so all of our subscribers, thank you for subscribing. But first of all, we just got to let you know a little bit about Benny Boy here. He is a love machine. <laughs> and we found his primo location for... Um, well, we call it the Love Shack for a reason. <laughs> so, 
Um, I have proof of him in it. We'll get so we'll yeah. we'll, we'll get some pictures up. We'll get some pictures up in here we'll of Ben invites. and the Love Shack. The um, love shack. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So, favorite moment of the day, sneaking into the car and peeling out because of that lady. Oh, it was a lady. Maddie, chase tell him, us. tell him about leading up to that though. What exactly. happened? We were, really yeah. I mean, a little no. bit. Not too much. Not, not too much. So we <laughs> did something that we maybe shouldn't have done. And I did. But we there still was this loved Jesus. This lady in all black that was looking for us, and so we snuck into our vehicle and took off before she could see. It was yeah. Crazy. We're gonna give context so you don't think we did anything terrible. We just were a little. Didn't we were we were at the abandoned place, so it was abandoned. Mm-hmm. And then like this very scary person just started following me. By very scary, and then, we mean a, a woman. She was like <laughs> probably five. <laughs> She's like five eight, maybe like Ben size kind of. I was terrified. Yeah, um, but the thing was, what's really funny is. We had separated ourselves from Ben and we're coming back. We given ourselves a time limit for exploring and when we got back, Ben was gone. And so <laughs> basically we thought that Ben had been kidnapped. It was the rapture. Had died Ooh. or had ran away. Or and we were trying or he's really scared of old women. Yeah. And so we didn't well we didn't know that there was someone walking around the perimeter like looking for things. So Ben was just gone. And we were like, oh, no, 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 no. So I ran back to the car, and I didn't see him. And then he poked his head out behind the car. And we were we had been looking for him for like two or three minutes. So <laughs> that was really cool to see him. But he like scared the poop out of us that he got like murdered or something in this abandoned building. So, yeah. Okay, so my favorite part of the day was probably the sketchiest part of the whole day. And oh, man. basically... We were at the insane asylum, and Kevin showed us this really cool, like, structure that was, like, basically, it's this big, giant, uh, building. And it's not super giant. I would say, like, we had to climb on top of it, but it's real flat, and it's all concrete, and there's no doors. So we climbed on top of it to see if there was a way in. Yeah, and it's round. It's It's probably 15, 20 feet tall. Yeah, it's really, really... Okay, so we climbed on top of it, and we were trying... Well, well when you're outside of it, it's only, it's only like, probably between... Yeah, it's like 10 feet tall to get... So it was really easy climbing on top of it. So we climbed on top of it, and we're walking around to see if there's a way in on the top. And sure enough, we walk over, and there's this little hole. It's like a square. It's probably like 4 by 4 feet square in the top of this this or the ceiling of whatever it is and we go over and i look down and i see these rungs and so i was like oh guys i found a way in there's staircase or not staircase but these rungs that are stairs go down and i looked in and i got everybody to come over and if you look in it was just like you could see the rungs and like what was right there that stair going down and it goes down like 20 feet 25 feet and it's just pitch black and we decided to check it out we were like looking inside and like making noise and stuff it was so creepy because we did not know it was in there and it was really loud like echoey stuff and we climbed on down yeah and my old friend Speak with you, you again. again. <laughs> you again. But we conquered <laughs> our fears you, and we found that there was like no, well, there, yeah, it was cool down there, but it was all wet and there's a lot of junk and it was really dark and there's graffiti mm-hmm. and stuff down there. Yeah, so that was really cool. Spray, spray painted on the far wall, we could see made out in big red black letters <laughs> that we thought said karma. Mm-hmm. Which yeah, kind of sketch, oh, sketch us scary, out a little yeah. bit, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was yeah. the highlight of my day. Yeah. Venturing down there, not knowing what was down there or who was down there, that and we still did it. Yeah, and that was cool. And then after, we had to jump off the uh, 
<laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got your so we foot were stuck hanging, in the tree. You know, we were we had to jump <laughs> off the building to get back onto the ground, and Kevin took a tree down. I'm like, oh, great <laughs> idea, Kev. So thinking I could be like Kevin, I climb on the tree and I start sliding down, and my arm got stuck in between like <laughs> two big branches, and I'm just like. <gasps> Sophie's arms got <laughs> smashed in between hanging. two trees as she was sliding down. The trees got closer and closer. I'm like hanging by one arm. And her arms, her arms on the other side got stuck. And she, and she was like still like four feet above the ground. And so her arms were stuck, but she was sliding down. So we had to go pick her up so that she could dislodge her arms. Yeah, that was oh, kind. Man. That was cool. So okay. Cool. And we played King of Tokyo. That is a fun game. You should definitely play that it. Was I'm awesome. definitely the world champion. I won twice. I won once. I'm the king of Tokyo. I will probably I have a video of someone yeah. or some group of people playing King of Tokyo eventually. But anyways, my favorite part of the day, this is going to sound very cliche, my favorite part of the day is hanging out with all of you guys. Wait, that was the whole day. That doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's got it right. That was exactly. Really nice. That's my favorite that part. That was, okay. Okay. You but found the also, cash. Oh, yes, okay. I found a geocache. First one of 2017. But anyways, <laughs> so we're going to wrap up the video soon, so I'm going to explain a challenge right now. What's a challenge? Okay, so they don't know this yet, but uh, today, when we were um, exploring and stuff, when we went to an abandoned place, I just started throwing rocks and being all crazy and stuff. Oh. And they called it... <laughs> he went into full rage Ginger mode. Ginger rage. They called it... Ginger rage. <laughs> so, uh, what I'm saying now is, since uh, we're in Austin's house and it's maybe like it's 11:44 right now, we have to PM. be kind of quiet. PM, yes. Yeah. Um, we we need to be kind of quiet, but um, I want to see the best quiet rage of everyone here. So, so yeah. What? Wait, what? Best quiet rage. Go. <laughs> Good. Um. <laughs> 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 One for us. I'm gonna recreate what happened today. Okay, at uh at the resort. All right, so we got some cool buildings around us. Okay, we got uh, Benny Boy coming in hot, and uh, Ginger Rage Mode gets activated. And all you see. Everybody now. <laughs> Did I freak you guys out? Yeah, it was awesome. Okay. A bit. I I'm a little weird. Sometimes. Okay. Uh I think we're going to end the video Aww, there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Okay.